Oh, here we go. And now we're starting. All right, here we go. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Purtle Monday. Purtle Monday, where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What are Purtle Mondays? Well, here we work on puzzles and riddles. We work on them together because I'm trying to get better at armchair treasure hunts. Armchair treasure hunts oftentimes have different puzzles and riddles in them. So my way of thinking was that, well, if I can work on them sort of for fun on the side, maybe I can get better at armchair treasure hunts, armchair treasure hunts at the same time. So why do I do puzzles and riddles? Well, I like to do different type of word puzzles and riddles because I think it improves uh, vocabulary, it improves outside the box thinking, and improves your lateral thinking. You know, I for my work and I think of what well, a lot of what we do every day is to get those logical answers. But thinking laterally, I think helps out with a lot of different things. Riddles and the types of puzzles I like to do kind of fits into that category. So I have some, they call them riddles, they call them rebuses. It's kind of just words on a picture. But I wanted to start off with these because there were two, there's 10 of them. And this first one I didn't quite like very what very much. But you can see it says Alex constructed 30% of it. Philip built three-fifths of it. Casey created one-tenth of it. And the answer was making the most of it. So it was an expression. Making the most of it was the answer. I didn't quite like that one. But the next one I liked. And so I think we're going to continue on. And we will see this next one. So can you decipher this one? It says, Mr. E from birth. Mr. E from marriage. Mr. E from death. So that's going to be our first one, so, and I know the answer to this one. This is why I try, I chose this. We've got uh, eight more of these from this particular website, but I like this. I like this answer, and so I, that's why I decided to use this. Sometimes I see the answers like, nah, I don't like that very much. That first one, making the most of it, I didn't quite like very much, but this one I liked. So if anybody has a guess on this one, I don't see anybody there yet, but we can come back to it. <laughs> we can move on to something else because I don't mind so I also have some riddles this one will keep on the screen uh, and my favorite website is RiddleWatt I've now got over a thousand riddles if I can get to 2,000 riddles solved then um, I can interview the creator of Riddlewatt, who I believe is Australian, because at the time frame it always seems to be you know quite a bit different than what, what we are in the United States here. So I'm hoping to get through some of these. Uh, my colors were once considered ghostly. Uh, I have gone through to try to get like the easy ones, because these are user generated riddles. Sometimes they're they're difficult, sometimes they're easy, uh, but we've had good a good experience generally with the Riddlewatt riddles. My colors were once considered ghostly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My colors were once considered ghostly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead since it seems to be not too too many people in the show today so far. I am going to Turn on turn on settings, rewards. So it shows me the first letter automatically. So I'm going to turn that on. All right, first letter is an S. My colors were once considered ghostly. Is it shadowy? Shadowy? The number of letters is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight letters. Eight letters, and the first letter begins with an S. 
my colors were once considered ghost. Oh, now I'm thinking shades. Shade. I don't. My colors were once considered ghostly. I'm thinking shade. I'm going to look at the the statistics because it'll show these are incorrect answers. It's not shadiest. It's not sunlight. It's not snowball. My colors were once considered ghostly. Hmm. So not shadowy. And then I'm thinking shade because that covers a ghost and a color. Shade. So they, what was this? It was it shadiest, shadiest. Shadowy. It's not shadowy. It's not shadiest, shadier. No, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the answer. Spectrum. Oh, Spectre, Spectrum. I didn't think of that. Hmm. The mother of vehicles will ensure you get your just desserts. The mother of vehicles will ensure you get your just desserts. The first letter is a K. It's five letters. Five letter word. K-R-E-M-E cream? Like Krispy Kreme? No. The mother of vehicles will ensure you get your just desserts. Knock. The mother of vehicles. Well, I'm thinking like um, no desserts. I can't think candy. The mother of vehicles will ensure you get your just desserts. So it's a five letter word that begins with K. I'm gonna look at the statistics. Karma with a K, karma, the mother of vehicles mm. is karma. That's not bad, I guess. Karma. The mother of vehicles. So desserts didn't really have much to do with it. Well, we'll ensure you get your just desserts. Okay. So karma will ensure you get your just desserts. All right, all right, all right. A plant that sounds like ord orderly lines. A plant that sounds like orderly lines. Four letters. One, two, three, four. Starts with an R. So rose, no. A plant that sounds like orderly lines. So we're looking for a plant. Ring, no. Orderly lines. Rose graphs. A plant. How about a ramp? That's a plant here in West Virginia. You know? A plant that sounds like orderly lines. I would think it had some type of like row, rows, rows. It's rows. <laughs> A plant that sounds like orderly line, rows, R-O-S-E instead of R-O-W-S. All right, next riddle. A sharp expulsion of breath will find you paying the toll a big part of many a morning routine. 
A sharp expulsion of breath will find you paying the toll. A big part of many a morning routine. So it starts with a C. I'm thinking cough is the first thing I'm thinking of. It's six letters, though. I could do coughs plural. A sharp expulsion of breath will find you paying the toll a big part of many a morning routine. So I'm trying to think of the different sharp expulsions of breath There's other than cough, sneeze, or spit, or expectorate. Mm -hmm. A sharp yawn, a big part of many a morning routine. Breakfast, brushing your teeth. Exasperation. How many letters? How many letters? We got six letters. All right. I'm gonna look at the statistics. We're looking for a six-letter word that begins with C. Oh, coffee. Is that what? Coffee. Oh, all right. All right. It's coffee. I should have got that. <laughs> a sharp expulsion. A cough. Fee, paying the toll, cough fee. Big part of many routine. I should have had that one. Should have had it one sooner, I should say. A deadly serious job or a children's game. A deadly serious job or a children's game. Starts with an H, seven letters. A deadly serious job or a children's game. So fireman, doctor, nurse, a deadly serious job. So fireman, policeman, not sure. Children's games that end that start with an H. Hook and ladders. <laughs> well, <I'm t> <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm thinking hooker <laughs> or hooky for a, for a children's game. <laughs> Let's. I'm gonna look at the statistics. So it's a. Seven letter? Hold on. Okay, it's seven letters. Starts with an H. A deadly serious job or a children's game. Hunting. Handball. Yeah, hook and ladders. Or, um, yeah, hook and ladders. What's that? Yeah, it's called hook and ladders, that, ch that board game. Oh, somebody tried to do hide and seek. Hide, see. Hospital. Hunting. Fighters. Don't know. A deadly serious job or a children's game. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. If, if anybody like to chat would like to try to help, I'm willing to accept any help here. It's a seven-letter word. Starts with an H. A deadly serious job or a children's game. Well, now I'm going through children's games. There's like checkers and I can go to like Fortnite if you want to do video games. <laughs> Probably not a video game though. A deadly serious job. Investigator. Oh, what about um, deadly serious? So like a mortician or um, not a horticulturist homicide detective homicide is too many letters homicide yeah 
that's eight letters. But um, like what are those? There's morticians and then there's the investigators. CSI people. But then it's also be has to be a children's game. <clears throat> Operation. <laughs> <clears throat> Operation? Don't know. Thinking H words that are fit that mortician category. I can't think of one. All right, I'm going to pull up the answer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show the answer. Hangman. <laughs> Children's game, Hangman. I should add that. <laughs> A deadly serious job. Okay. Generally fits that category. Hangman is the answer. I stand, noisemaker in my hand. It gets louder the more you pay dot 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 attention I cannot choose I stand noisemaker in my hand it gets louder the more you pay dot 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 attention I cannot choose it's a six letter word begins with a B as in boy I stand noisemaker in my hand it gets louder the more you pay attention Well, now I'm thinking like megaphone, microphone. Don't, doesn't start with a B, but that's what I'm thinking. I stand, noisemaker in my hand. Or not a microphone, a speaker of some kind. Or I'm thinking now I'm thinking sports like a baseball bat because I gotta see the bees. I don't know. I'm gonna look up the statistics. Beeper button breath buzzer babies. Bubble? Mm. I stand, noisemaker in my hand. It gets louder the more you pay attention. I cannot choose. Now I can see where Beeper was coming from. What about like um, cell phone or cellular? Don't know. Bobby pins. I stand, noisemaker in my hand. It gets louder the more you pay attention. I cannot choose. I don't know. I'm going to pull up the answer. A beggar. Noise maker in my hand. It gets louder. The more you pay attention, I cannot choose. Beggar. All right. I'm, I don't quite like that one very much. I want to give it a chance. I reread it again. It still didn't quite work, work for me. I protect you from subjective wind. Though you create more for yourself in the safe zone, I provide. I protect you from subjective wind. Though you create more for yourself in the safe zone, I provide. Starts with a W. We have lots of letters. Ten letters. 
I protect you from subjective wind, though you create more for yourself in the safe zone I provide. I don't know why, but I'm thinking whirlpool. Oh, it's, that's not even enough letters. Wind screen. I don't know. I'm getting fixated on the wind part of the part of the clue. I protect you from subjective wind. Though you create more for yourself in the safe zone I provide. I'm gonna look up the statistics, look up the wrong answers. Oh, wind shield. Window pane. Is it windshield and they just somebody misspelled it? Wind shield. It is windshield. I protect you from subjective wind. Do we create more for yourself in the safe zone I provide? Okay, that makes sense. Next riddle. Partly known as a day, a moment of time, and a weather spectacle. Partly known as a day, a moment of time, and a weather spectacle. It starts with an M, an M as in Mary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven letters. A weather spectacle that starts with an M. So hurricane, snowstorm. We're having snow here. Moment in time and a weather spectacle. Cyclone, hurricane. Water spout, a weather spectacle, tornado, but we've got seven letter word begins with the letter M as in Mary, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters, partly known as a day, so then a moment in time. And a weather spectacle. Is it a moon something? Moon. Then I got three letters. A moon day. Moon phase. Don't know. Partly known as a day, a moment of time, and a weather spectacle. Seven letter word begins with M. All right, I'm gonna look up the statistics. These are incorrect answers. Mondays. <laughs> Mondays isn't too bad. Rainbow Typhoon, Monster, Memento, Incorrectly Spelled Blizzard, Noontime, Red Moon, Mother's Morning. Partly known as a day, a moment in time, and a weather spectacle. I don't know. Moon day. Eclipse. No, I don't know. I do not know. What else could it be? A moment in time. So what if I go like minute? Partly known as a day. A moment in time, it meets the moment in time but it is not 
it's not known as a day and it's not a weather spectacle minutes or minutes they're not a weather spectacle see i would like google it but i don't want to i don't want to google it all right we'll just go ahead and pull up the answer partly known as a day a moment in time and a weather spectacle all right we're going to pull up the answer A monsoon? Oh. Partly known as a day? Oh, partly known. Monday, monsoon. Oh, okay. A moment in time. So it's a day, Monday, a moment in time, soon. And it's a weather spectacle. All right. I see where they're going with that. All right. Once I see the answer. Okay. Monsoon. Got it. All right. Next one. Devised I am, sometimes on the fly, expressed through symbols, through a relationship's formal I. So list me out if you can, just remember altogether, I am what I am. Sounds like Popeye. Devised I am, sometimes on the fly, expressed through symbols, through a relationship's formal I. So list me out if you can. Just remember all together, I am what I am. Starts with an F, and F is in Frank. Five, six, seven. seven letter word. Seven letter word. Devised, well, I'm thinking like freedom. Devised I am, sometimes on the fly expressed through symbols through a relationship's formal I. So that, uh, a relationship's formal I makes me think like a wedding ring, like a formal relationship, wedding, tying the knot, formality. Formality. So list me out if you can. Just remember all together, I am what I am. List me out if you can. So I was thinking like, wed again, I'm thinking weddings because that's a formal relationship event, I guess. List me out if I can. So I was thinking like a wedding registry. I don't know. Devised I am, sometimes on the fly, expressed through symbols through a relationship's formal I. So list me out if you can. Just remember altogether I am what I am. I'm not sure. I'm going to look at the, and how many letters again? Seven letters. It begins with an F as in Frank. I'm going to look at the statistics. These are the wrong answers. Feeling. Hmm. Propose. None of these other incorrect answers started with the letter F other than feeling. Remember, those are incorrect answers. Devised I am, sometimes on the fly, expressed through symbols. Is it like... Texting and emojis? No. So list me out if you can. Just remember all together I am what I am. I'm having a hard time figuring this out. Mm. Expressed through symbols. So I'm, then, now I'm thinking emojis, like text, cell phones. Devise I am sometimes on the fly. through a relationship's formal I. So list me out if you can. Just remember all together I am what I am. I can't figure this one out either. I'm 
going to go and show the answer. The answer is formula. Devised I am, sometimes on the fly, expressed through symbols, chemical, uh, chemical symbols, through a relationship's formal I. So formal, I guess, was supposed to lead you towards formula. So list me out if you can. Just remember, altogether, I am what I am. So like chemical bonds. All right, all right. That's not bad, not bad. Formula. I have 12 eyes, 3 feet, and 37 tongues. What am I? <laughs> uh, I have 12 eyes, 3 feet, and 37 tongues. What am I? So it's something with eyes, feet, and tongues. Starts with an H. Seven letters long. Seven letters starts with an H. Twelve eyes. So my first thought was sneakers, shoes, boots. Then it says three feet. Maybe something three feet long, a yard. And 37 tongues. Oh, I so much want to Google this one. <laughs> I have 12 eyes. Three feet and 37 tongues. I don't know. I'm going to look at the statistics of the incorrect answers. Again, the riddle is I have 12 eyes, three feet and 37 tongues. What am I? Starts with an H and it is seven letters long. Statistics. So lots of H words in here. I see handgun, harpist, hungry, horrors, handles, handbags, heavens, hayseed, hand saw, hackney, haggler. I'm hoping that again it's like someone misspelled it. Housing. What would have 37 tongues? Hooters. Hebrews. Mm. Nothing jumps out at me. I have 12 eyes, 3 feet, and 37 tongues. All right, well, since it's a small crowd today and nobody's talking who is here, I'm going to look up what has 37 tongues. Of course, i got to spell tongues correctly. T O N G U. 37. What has 37 tongues? Is it a religious something? Angelic tongues. Seems to be referencing like the Bible in different places. Hmm. Twelve eyes, three feet, and thirty-seven tongues. Well, if it's a reference, if it's a Bible reference, I'm going to be stuck from that. <laughs> Unless it's like heaven. I think that. Holy Ghost. Uh, I've only got seven letters. Wasn't heaven one of the answers? Heavens was already already used. I didn't say heaven. I said Holy Ghost is too is too many letters. Oh, how many letters is it? Seven letters. Okay. It starts with an H. Starts with an H. Okay. Because speaking in unknown tongues or other languages, mm -hmm. there's like thirty some okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, I like the Holy Ghost. Just seven letters. With only seven letters. What else? Okay, let's get back to the th 12 eyes. And it can't be the letter I because we've only got seven letters. Mm -hmm. 
Heavens. I don't know. I'm going to have to look up the answer. I'm going to have to get the answer, I guess. 12 eyes, 37 tongues. Corinthians, tongue and teeth. How your tongue affects your strength and vis vision. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the answer because I'm having a hard time coming up with another H word. I have 12 eyes, 3 feet, and 37 tongues. We're going to go ahead and show what the answer is. Hideous. Hideous is the answer. <laughs> All right. If you have 12 eyes, 3 feet, and 37 tongues, you are hideous. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? You're hideous. <laughs> uh, I thought there was going to be a different kind of clue in there, but there wasn't. <laughs> uh, what does a written school paper, the armed forces, and the wind all have in common? What does a written school paper... The armed forces and the wind all have in common. So the first letter is the letter D, and it's five letters long. Five letters. First letter is a D as in David or Delta. Which is a written school paper. The armed forces and the wind all have in common. A written school paper. Usually it's an essay. The armed forces. So military. Actually, the word Delta fits. It, because we only have five letters. Hmm. Not sure. What does a written school paper, the armed forces, and the wind all have in common? I don't think delta is the answer. I'm not even going to guess that. But we do have a five-letter word. It begins with D, as in David or delta. Is it depth? It's not depth. I'm going to look at the statistics. Drags. Okay, that's good for the, the wind one. Diary, dance, dirty, drill for drill sergeant. Dream. These are all the incorrect answers that people have guessed. Diary, dance, dirty, drill, dream, and drags or incorrect answers. The Armed Forces has ranks, now that wind. Written school paper is like an essay. But what do they all have in common? What does a written school paper, the Armed Forces and the wind all have in common? I do not know. What does a written school paper, the armed forces, and the wind all have in common? I do not know. I'm going to get the answer. Show the answer. It's draft. 
Oh, a written school paper. The armed forces and the wind. Oh, all right, that's pretty good. Draft is pretty good. <laughs> all right, next riddle. Man, I can go all day long standing. Seated, if you will it. If you know my name, please don't spill it. Man, I can go all day long standing. Seated, if you will it. If you know my name, please don't spill it. It almost sounds like a character. Is this one of those pop culture riddles? Man, I can go all day long standing. Seated, if you will it. If you know my name, please don't spill it. Starts with an M as in Mary. Nine letters. Man, I can go all day long. So is it like Mr. Three letters? I can go all day long standing. I don't know. I'm going to look at the statistics. Oh, somebody put guessed mountains. Margarita, milkshake. Okay. Is that how you spell margarita? I like the I like the fact that it's a drink. That would make it work pretty good. Did I spell it right? M A R G A R I T A. M A R G A R I T A. All right, it was spelled correctly. So it's not a margarita. But it's an M word, and it's the, that number of letters. I, I, now that I look, is it some kind of drink? Like, um, like milkshake? It's not milkshake. So I was thinking like a cow stands all day. Seated, or maybe that was one of the guesses already. I don't remember. It was milkshake? Milkshake was in there already. All right. <laughs> seated if you will it if you know my name please don't spill it I can go all day long standing now I'm thinking like different names of alcoholic drinks it doesn't have to be alcoholic root beer what not Man, I can go all day long standing. Seated, if you will it. If you know my name, please don't spill it. So then it could be like a like a secret, because that's one of the common... A secret or... Um, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. Nine letters long. So that's why milkshake works for the number of letters and it starts with an M, but it's not the answer. Nine letters, yep, nine letters. Not sure what the answer would be. What if it's milkmaid? Milkmaids? Not milkmaids. No. Uh, 
What else would somebody do all day long standing? I guess it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a metaphor for something else that stands and seat, sits. So now I'm thinking different drinks like wine, wine glass. Seated if you will it. If you know my name, please don't spill it. All right, I'm not getting the answer here either. Chat is quiet again, so I'm just going to continue. Find out what the answer is. What is the answer? Mannequin. Man, I could go all day long standing. Seated if you will. If you know my name, please don't spill it. A mannequin. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Uh... All right, next riddle. I could not help but to have pranced and sprung to caress that hairdo with my tongue. I could not help but to have pranced and sprung to caress that hairdo with my tongue. It starts with the letter F and it's six letters long. So brush, comb. Is it feline? F-E-L-I-E-I-N-E? -E -E? It's not feline. Caress that hairdo with my tongue. I was thinking of cats. All right. I thought feline was a good answer. I could not help but to have pranced and sprung to caress that hairdo with my tongue. Pranced and sprung. So is it like a frog something? Frog is not enough letters. Finger? Doesn't really work but I thought I'd give it a shot I could not help but to have pranced and sprung to caress that hairdo with my tongue is there another type of cat that starts with an F tiger lion panther mountain lion Something else that cleans with their tongue. I don't know. I'm going to look at these statistics. Look at the incorrect answers. So we're looking for something that starts with an F. Somebody had a frog, froggy kind of answer and feline. Catnip cattle. Father? Not father. I could not help but to have pranced and sprung to caress that hairdo with my tongue. Chat is still quiet, so I'm on my own still. No. Pranced and sprung. I'm still, it's still, it's like a cat that um, sneak attacks you. Follows. To caress that hairdo with my tongue. Is it like a ghost phantasm? Phantasm is too many letters. Apparition. I mean, even Fredo. <laughs> oh, Fredo is not enough letters. It's six letters. 
could not help but have pranced and sprung to caress that hairdo with my tongue. I'm not seeing it, so I'm going to have to get the answer. Show the answer. The answer is frolic. I could not help but to have pranced and sprung to caress that hairdo with my tongue. Oh, frolic. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I, I believe you. Sweetie says she, she figured that out. Frolic, frolic. Okay, so there's where the lick came from, is part of the word itself. All right, all right, all right. We will continue on. Oh, it's a long one, all right, long riddle. Into the world I'm sheltered until I'm offered to the flame. But do not feel bad for me. My sacrifice was not in vain. Thanks to me you might see, though never with a roar. I will do so to the end when I can do so no more. Hmm. Into the world I'm sheltered until I'm offered to the flame. But do not feel bad for me. My sacrifice was not in vain. Thanks to me, you might see, though never with a roar, I will do so to the end when I can do so no more. Starts with a W. It's only four letters. Four letters. Is it wood? I got to spell it right. It's not wood. Okay. Four letter word begins with the letter W. Into the world I'm sheltered until I'm offered to the flame. So then I was thinking, I was thinking like coal, but it, not if it starts with a W. Is it wind? Just because that's a common riddle answer, it's not wind. Into the world I'm sheltered until I'm offered to the flame. But do not feel bad for me. My, my sacrifice was not in vain. Thanks to me, you might see, though never with a roar. I will do so to the end when I can do so no more. Is it a will? It's not a will. Okay. I was thinking at the end... Do not feel bad for me. My sacrifice was not in vain. Thanks to me, you might see. So then I think it's like electricity. Though never with a roar, I will do so to the end when I can do so no more. It can't be a water wheel or something like that to provide power because water is too many letters. We've only got four letters. So now I'm trying to come up with different four-letter W words, and there's wine, but it doesn't really. <laughs> you don't. It's not sheltered until offered to the flame. So W O, a word. But something that roars at the end. I don't know. I'm gonna try word. It's not word. I'm going to look at the incorrect answers. Looking for a W word. Wall, word, well, and wine. Wire and wind. Wood. Nope, I don't see anything that clues me in. Into the world I'm sheltered until I'm offered to the flame. But do not feel bad for me. My sacrifice was not in vain. 
Thanks to me, you might see, though never with a roar, I will do so to the end when I can do so no more. Wind swinge. A weir, W E I R. I'm, I'm just coming up, trying to come up with four letter W words. <laughs> Wend, W E N D. Into the world I'm sheltered until offered to the flame. So what do you shelter from the world and then you throw in the fire? Flame. Sounds like wood to me, but the, the roar part doesn't quite work though. Sacrifice was not in vain. Thanks to me, you might see. So is it like glasses or light? I was thinking might see meaning light, but maybe it's glasses or sand? No. It's not sand. Thanks to me, you might see, though never with a roar. I will do so to the end. When I can do so no more. Um, work. Word. Nope. I don't know. This will be my last one. Chat is still quiet, so we will go ahead and it's not the one I wanted to get the answer. Show the answer. Answer was wick. Uh, oh, for a, can a wick from a candle. Into the world I'm sheltered until offered to the flame, but my sacrifice not in vain. Thanks to me, you might see, though never with a roar. I will do so to the end when I can do so no more. A wick of a candle. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, we'll make that the end of Purtle Monday. Purtle Monday. Not sure when the next show is going to be. I'm working night still. I had a snow day today. So I'm not sure when the next Purtle Monday would be. But make sure you catch me, catch me next time. Make sure you have the rest of your Monday is excellent. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see everybody next time. <laughs>